I'm Stephanie with Baby Lock, and today I'm going to show you three different ways to applique with the Baby Lock Aventura. First, we're going to use the machine embroidery applique, and then we're going to switch over and use sewing machine features, and we are going to applique on knits and wovens. So let's get started. Let's get our machine set up. So first and foremost, you're going to need an embroidery needle. You'll also need your embroidery machine foot. You also want to have an embroidery design loaded on a USB stick or your machine actually comes in with some pre-built applique stitches uh, so you can choose. We are going to use an embroidery hoop and then you'll also need your medium tear stick tear away uh, stabilizer and you'll want to cut a size that is big enough a little bit bigger than your embroidery hoop. Okay, and then we are going to stitch on a knit fabric as if you are stitching on a t-shirt and then you'll want your contrasting fabric. And the reason I use stick tear tear away is because if I don't have to hoop something, I absolutely will use that and that is just what the stick tear tear away does. You don't have to hoop the actual project. I also like to use um, just a little bit of tear away to float underneath and I'll show you how to do that. And you will need, lastly, applique scissors. Okay, now that we have it hooped, we just need to score the fabric a little bit. This, um, just with a pin or a, a small pair of scissors. You just kind of need to sketch, sketch a little line into it. And the top layer just peels right up. So you want to take as much of that off as you can. Okay, and now it's so easy, you just stick your fabric right to it. So this is the fabric we'll be stitching on. And usually when I stitch on knits, I'll put a lightweight fusible on the back side. Just to give it a little more stability. It stitches out beautifully. And you just press it down. It's so easy, I love it. Okay, so now we're going to put it in the machine and we're going to get started. Okay, so we've loaded our design onto our machine and we've placed embroidery bobbin thread down um, in the bobbin. And we're going to place the hoop into our machine. And lock it into place. I also like to, for a little bit more stability, I like to put a tearaway stabilizer. I just float it underneath, so you just kind of lift the frame up and slide that underneath your design where it's going to sew. And we're ready to go. And then your machine is going to stop and it's now ready for you to place the fabric over the shape. And now you can set it for the second uh, step in your embroidery design. Gently and carefully take our hoop out without moving anything. And now we need to clip with our applique scissors right next to this edge here. As close as you can get without clipping your thread. As soon as you've clipped around as closely as you can around your shape, you're going to put your hoop right back in the machine. And it's going to do a satin stitch around um, the shape that you're applicating. Okay, it's finished. So let's take it out of the machine. And it's really easy to remove it from the hoop. So you'll just flip it over and you'll take your tearaway stabilizer off. Okay, and then remember this is a tearaway also, it's just the sticky. And oftentimes I like to kind of just run along the edge here. Sometimes you can punch it right out. So easy and clean. So there's the front of your applique. And there's the back side. Okay, now that I've shown you machine embroidery applique, I promised you two other ways. And we're gonna set up our machine for a sewing machine to applique on knits and wovens. Okay, we're gonna start with sewing knit fabric to knit fabric and this is really easy 
Uh, I just think it's a neat way to applique um, with a straight stitch. So because we're using knits, you'll want to use a stretch needle and you'll want, these are thinner knits, so I'm gonna use a 7511. And we're also gonna use something really cool called fusible applique. This is really neat because you can actually print out your templates onto this fabric or onto this uh, stabilizer and uh, you'll want to print it on the slick side the other side has kind of a texture to it. And then you'll fuse your shape or your star onto your fabric, onto the back side of your fabric. Then you're going to cut your shape out, which is awesome. It makes it nice and pretty because it's all fused together and you can just cut it right out. Okay, so it's fusible on one side. And then the nifty part about this stuff is it's sticky on the other side. So that works great for placement and it's going to stay in place. Okay, so for my knit fabric that I'm going to stitch it to, so again, if you were using a t-shirt, you'd probably want to uh, fuse a little bit of lightweight interfacing to give it some stability onto the back side. And then you're going to stick your applique down. And we're just gonna use a basic straight stitch. So you'll want your needle in the center. This is where you should use your knee lift on your machine. Go really slow as you get to any corners. And pivot. So you're gonna meet the stitch where you started and back stitch over the top of it. Wasn't that so easy? Basically just top stitch, straight stitch all the way around it and it's done. Okay, so now we're going to applique with a woven fabric on top of a knit fabric. For your stitch though, so we're going to use a knit needle because we're sewing on knit and we're going to use an open toe foot so we can see exactly what we're doing and we're gonna use a blanket stitch. A good rule of thumb with applique with the blanket stitch is to slow your machine down just a wee bit. This stitch is going to line up with the edge of your applique, so that's why we want to use the open toe foot. And it's going to start right next to it, and then it's going to bite into your fabric. And you want that stitch to run right next to the edge and then bite into your applique. And then I want to pivot it, I want to pay attention to when it's going to bite into my fabric again. You just kind of have to get creative when you get to points. So that is stitching, applique stitching, woven fabric onto knit, and it's a little bit more time consuming, but how cool does that look? So there you have it, three different types of applique, each different, each unique, but each fun. So um, I would encourage you to get out your machine and, and practice applique. We've included a free template and a free embroidery design of this star um, in the link below. And uh, for more project inspiration and tips, please check out babylock.com.